Report Beam really was an innovation in technology for us. Once we reach the scene of an accident, we'll try to find out all of those that were involved and get all the information we're going to need. Names, phone numbers, GPS coordinates, water temperature, air temperature, whether it was windy, a good visibility, if any of the operators have been drinking, how serious the injuries are, this type of information. Officers will have one thing in their hand when they respond to these scenes. The Tennessee Boating Accident Report. It's a wonderful reminder of what all you gather while you're in the field. We wanted the report to look like something that a professional had put together, not something that was done at somebody's kitchen table. Be accurate in everything that was in the report rather than having to interpret what the officer may have said or meant to have said. Allow us to meet our reporting times not only in the state but also for the Coast Guard and barge system. We really struggled with how we were going to make all of that happen. We found a piece of existing software that had been around for quite some time in reporting vehicle crashes and we modified that to actually fit into today's modern boating era. Report Beam has basically taken the paper version and put it on a computer program which you're able to just click boxes, send it email, and it speeds the whole process up from start to finish. If we reach the scene of an accident, we'll start on our paper accident report once we get back to our truck or home or wherever we're then able to use our new report beam system and put it on the computer. It stumps up on top of that flat over there. It does the same as over here. It drops off real good. Well, I'm finally back to my office. I've been out on Percy Priest Lake, just got done working a boat and accident. I've got my accident report, the six page uh, report on paper. I have statements from individuals and pictures. Now what I'm gonna do is take it and put it on the computer. And the great thing about the report being, it's exactly like the six page accident report that we've been doing. It's just now we're putting it on the computer. It's really simple, as soon as you pull up report beam, uh, you enter in your case number and which lake it was on and then it brings you up to this page. It deals with the individual that owns the boat. It deals with where the accident took place at, dates, times. Page two deals with uh, the second vessel. In this accident that I just got done working, it was a single vessel, it was a capsizing. As you go on down, you get into different things about the boat, just to describe it. This boat was a, uh, an open motor boat. Uh, it has a prop. Total horsepower was 40. Gas boat fiberglass, the engine was an outboard. At the bottom of this page, enter the activity, what they were doing at the time of the accident, whether they were you know, towing a skier, sailing, uh, docking, something like that. Page three, what they hit, what they were doing at the time of the incident, if any equipment failed, any type of property damage that's, that's not associated with the vessel, a boat ramp or a or dock or something like that. Also at the bottom, you're listing any violations that took place during the accident. The fourth page deals with the injuries. Anybody that was hurt in the accident, you list the type of accident, where they were injured, what part of the body. The fifth page deals with the diagram, and this is where report beam gets really interesting. You can actually uh, add different boats, people, a lot of neat stuff to help you let other people know what happened. Whereas before we're having to draw it out, I'm not an artist, so uh, stick figures and horrible looking boats. Now, I can click on a boat, and I can add it into my diagram. I can put in another boat. I can put arrows to show which way it was going. I can position people in the boat to show where they were sitting at the time of an accident. You can also put vessels in motion and show them colliding, how people came out of the vessels. You can download images from Google Earth or wherever and put them on this report and can give a much clearer idea of where it happened, how it happened, that type of thing, if you ever had to take it to court. It's, it's pretty neat how they've got it set up. This is extremely, extremely helpful. You've got your diagram in the report. Our accident investigator can understand. He can visualize the accident. On the last page, witnesses, because you never know what's gonna happen with these accidents. Once we get off the lake, you don't know if there's gonna be court. You may need all the witnesses that you can get. You sign it and you add in how many hours you and other officers and accident investigators work. Of course, we still keep up with our paper copies, but once we leave the lake, we can stick all the info onto the computer. We can send it to our accident investigator or our supervisors. We don't have to keep on handing paper copies to them. If there's any corrections that need to be made, they can send it back to us. So it's, it's really helpful. 
you basically just have to, at the click of a button. This computer has a wireless internet card in it, and I can go to you know, a coffee shop, or if I'm at home, you can basically do it anywhere that has wireless internet. You don't have to just be refined to the office, to your truck, you know, you could go in wherever offers free internet. We've had some cases in the past that, you know, the individuals that are involved in the accident or their insurance companies wanted a copy of this report, you know, pretty quickly. And the great thing about it being online, we can get it to the individuals extremely quickly now. A lot, a lot quicker than, than say the paper copies were. The next cases that I call are all wildlife resources cases. We wanted to increase the professionalism of the reporting system. Not just the accuracy of the report itself, but the way it was perceived by a judge or a jury or even those people involved in an accident and know that it's something professionally put together. As a supervisor, I cannot alter the report, so there's a built-in safety there if those reports happen to be pulled by an attorney uh, in, in some type of civil litigation or criminal or prosecution or defense, then they know that everything that's in there is factual and the officer has a confidence that what they put in there is what's going to be on the report. But if I disapprove a report, then I can kick it back to the officer and, and list down what corrections need to be made. And that maintains the integrity of the report. When you're done, you then hit the send button and it goes on to the, to the next level. Making copies of reports is also really easy now. They're instantly available electronically to both our personnel and to the public. It's also really helped our reporting with the U.S. Coast Guard. We literally can have an accident reported on the day that it happened and be in the Coast Guard web system that afternoon. And that's really a big change for us. One great advantage is the query capabilities. We can take the information that's found in the report and look at long-term accident trends. We can look at a single body of water if we need to go to a specific kind of zoning on that lake or just to put together an annual report to help inform our legislators and our commissioners of what our program is actually about. It gives us instant reporting, graphing, and a myriad of things that we weren't able to do without days and days of hand searching through files. Report Beam really was an innovation in technology for us. It's been a big help.